All right, hello there, welcome back to another wee bit different video. Today's video, getting into a Mortal Kombat 1 video, and you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm not super ecstatic to be talking about this because we're gonna talk about the state of Mortal Kombat 1 and the community's passionate disappointment and dislike towards the game right now. Personally, I, 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 I love the gameplay. I think the gameplay is perfect, but yeah, there's some things that just can't be ignored. Um, going through the subreddit is really crazy, but even then the state of the FGC uh, players with Mortal Kombat, they, they are frustrated. There's a lot of people frustrated with this game and we're gonna be looking at some of the posts and I'll be giving my thoughts. You guys can give your thoughts. So there's a post right here where this dude's having to defend the game. Why are most of you playing this game if you all hate it so much? Uh, I haven't even bothered looking at the thread too much. Um, but yeah, top comment right here. While the core gameplay is fun, there's so much that hinders it. Online is an absolute mess quality wise, and it's extremely bare bones. They released a patch to, fish, to fix the desyncs that didn't do what it was supposed to do on consoles. Unlocking content is limited for every season. That's asinine, especially when it's mostly palette changes. All while the MK team being dead silent on anything. What also makes it worse is a couple games prior, MK was looked at as a standard that every fighting game should be. Commented online, better single player modes, constant communication from the devs. I don't remember the constant communication, but I'll just take his word for it. Now darn near every fighting game dev is outclassing NRS in these regards. It's a great game here, but it's buried under a lot of problems. I think this is uh, this is the takeaway, to be honest with you. There is a great game here, but the problems are are massive. And to get into some of what I think I've seen a lot of from the community is for one, you have a game that yes, it is bare bones. Aside from invasions and online, um, not a lot to do. Like for example, in MK11, you had the crypt, but the crypt gave you challenges to do in the matches. And there was a lot of puzzles to work with. But invasions is super eh. Like it's not it's not good to be honest with you. Watching gameplay, seeing people talking about it. I don't even want to fucking play it. Like to be honest with you, I, I've seen more than enough to know like this isn't for me. But I will say the idea, right? The idea was nice. But then you talk about content, right? You know, typically people can grind for content, grind for skins. It's pretty much just palettes. And by palettes, I mean exact same skin different color and that's nice and all but when you release a season and you only have what one no two colored palettes for like Raiko I don't even play Raiko I'm a sub-zero main but when you have shit like that happening and then DLC characters get absolutely nothing I just don't I don't get what they're doing in that sense and also how hard is it to communicate like and I'm not trying to say the Overwatch devs are perfect, but at least they communicate, bro. Uh, these guys aren't communicating. Uh, this post coming up next, I, I did read this one. I'll read it again, though. It got a lot of upvotes. 2.9K is a lot. Got a commenter. I believe this is on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, that's neat. When does the premium store go away? Because this is a AAA title using a free-to-play style premium currency system to prey on the community that loves this franchise. You know, I'm one of those people that didn't lose their shit when the fatalities were charged. I mean, $10 for one, it was absolutely bananas. I thought the bundle wasn't crazy bad, but I think that all, like the fact that all the cool skins, everything is locked behind a paywall, especially when you're paying 70 bucks is, like there's just no defending this shit, dude. Like you really can't defend this at all. Uh, it's, I I'm gonna read the top comment. Um, I just wouldn't even buy the game until every single piece of content is released like MK11 Ultimate. It might go when people stop buying the games, but they won't. Yeah, this game's gonna sell. Um, but I will say it does hurt their, it does hurt their sales with their store and with their DLC if people stop playing the game. I hate the skin slash invasion reward system. I'm currently grinding for Sub-Zero themed skins for characters that aren't Sub-Zero. I couldn't care less about having an ice skin from Melina or Raiden. I disagree a little bit. I think it's a nice touch, but yes, I get I get the concept of what he's saying. I want more variations in outfits. Yes, agree. Three months and in most characters only have two outfit styles. That to me is the most wild shit about this. 
two outfit styles three months in is is bananas in a range of ugly color palettes chosen by the devs agreed i'm blown away that the that a game like mortal kombat should open the door to so many design and creative possibilities and we have that one reptile skin and a whole bunch of ugly palette choices we even have an interesting discussion here if you guys aren't familiar with sonic fox sonic is a famously very 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 good fighting game player and says tekken is so sick man i really wish nrs had this level of communication i love the way the other major fighters do you are all to blame for mk downfall with every new game y'all at the top sits there and tell nrs what a great job they have done just to stay on their good side and maintain y'all perks or you guys just don't say anything at, at all until it's too late i think it, i think it's too much to like try and blame guys like this like when they sit there and they play those games yeah they're a fan of the games because they're playing the gameplay like i think this is perfectly said right here it is not the responsibility of any pro player community to champion a game to improve mk1 launched with significant and obvious issues and people complained about it um because the product they bought has significant and obvious issues i love mk and i like this game a lot but netherrealm studios and warner bros are not our friends they are companies uh yeah i don't think anyone knows anything people just say shit these days like it's it's just the same shit always whenever a game is struggling people will say oh the game's dying or the game's doing this wrong and that's why it's dying like do i think mortal kombat 1 is literally dying no i think it'll be fine which is an, an unfortunate aspect for a lot of the fans because because it'll continue to be fine i don't think there'll be any massive changes like they want when they open up and just start communicating i just don't see it mortal kombat from my memory, I know there's a comment that said that MKX they used to communicate, but honestly, I don't ever remember them communicating, uh, at least since I've been around and I've been playing since 10. But nevertheless, MK11, zero communication when people had problems with that game. MK1, the most weird, weird release in that they didn't have things on release that they should always have. and. Even now, 33 days or 34 days or how, however many days it has been of this desync issue, it'll literally ruin sets. I'm literally in a set and it'll be 1-1. One, one. Doesn't matter. Desync. Oh, I'm up 1-0. Kick another guy's ass. Doesn't matter. Desync. Shit. Sometimes I'm even getting my ass kicked. I get bailed out because of the desync. It just messes up everything, dude. Like you can't... It, it happens way too frequently. No, is she dead? Not yet. I think the first step to the right direction would be for this game, for, first and foremost, to fix the desync issue. That needs to be fixed. Like there is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. The fact that it is, it is still a thing after all this time is mind boggling. It literally affects the gameplay. It literally affects the experience. Has nothing to do with currency. That's just the game in itself. Now there are bugs that are stupid. There are all kinds of annoying things, but the decent issue is first and foremost, gotta go. It, it's gotta go. Secondly, they gotta add more to this fucking game, dude. Like you gotta reward players more. I understand that they came out with the character leveling system and you know, progression, but it's not enough because it is so easy for players who main that character to get it done. They need to add like 15, 20 more levels in, an, in another update. Uh, honestly, even more. Just reward the players that want to play the game, that have fun playing the game. Give them something to work for. Uh, playing for a tier 9 rain skin when no one plays rain or a tier 6, uh, I, I think is it smoke? Not everyone plays smoke. Tier 3, not everyone plays sub-zero. Like if you don't play any of those three characters, you're not incentivized at all. To do combat league which to me is wild right like other you know other games do battle passes that have skins of a variety of characters and they make it worth your while but mortal kombat if you don't play any of those three characters why do you why would you play combat league and if you're not playing combat league let's be honest how many people are playing invasions and doing the new season seasonal shit unless they really want those skins it's not it's not a good time right now. It's not a good time to be a Mortal Kombat 1 fan right now. And so many people, so many people are voicing their disapproval of the game. Personally, I, I love the gameplay. I just think that a lot needs to be fixed. Hopefully they fix it. But anyway, let me know what you guys 
think about the game right now? Why is it bad? Why is it going wrong? Why are people shitting on it? Why is it getting no views on, what is it, Twitch? You know, it's, it's bad. You know, YouTube videos, they're getting views. You know, maybe not as much as, you know, past games, but there's still views out there for, for YouTubers, but not as much as there feels like there was in the past based off of the numbers that I'm seeing now. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, my, you can tell by my tone of voice. This isn't a video I'm happy about making, but it, it's like, it's so obvious. It's the elephant in the room. This game is really, really struggling. All it takes is communication and for developers to give us something to work with. Like, let us know what's going on, man. It, the silence does not help. It only pisses people off more. Hopefully, hopefully it changes. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is Ollie Been Different. All we've been different. And we out.